Yo, what's up? It's Friday. This is a very flattering view, I'm sure. You guys get to look up my nose. This is great. Um, here's the deal. I want to know, it's Friday, right? I want to know what steps you took, what strides you took this week to get closer to the goals you set out for yourself. As you may or may not know, I run a men's group here on Facebook, a private men's group for guys who want to get in shape, lose body fat, get stronger, build muscle, uh, you know, in and out of the gym so they can be present and be strong for their families and be the be the strong support that their family needs. So all that said, I want to know what you did. If you're watching this video and you're a guy, I want to know what you did this week. Did you work out three times this week? Did you clean up your eating? Did you get more sleep? Did you spend more time with your family? You know, what did you do to create separation? Because here's the deal. In the men's Facebook group that I run, the Beast Brotherhood it's called, if, you, if you're not a guy in there, if you're not in there, you're a friend of mine, uh, and you want you want some accountability, you know, look up the Beast Brotherhood group and, and join. But um, there's guys that post in there every day. What, what they did in the gym, how they ate, good or bad. They'll say, I skipped my workout, or I got a great workout in, or my workout sucked, or I messed up on my eating, or I did eat, ate really well today, or whatever the case is, they write about it. They let us know. And then there's guys in there that lurk in the shadows, and I know that they don't post up much, but I know they're working out. And then there's a third type of guy in that group. And this by no means is, 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 is me bashing anyone. But the third type of guy in that group is the guy who has good intentions and doesn't actually do anything about it. They talk about how they want to lose weight. A lot of these guys have 10, 20, 30, 50. Some of the guys have 100 pounds to lose. I want to lose weight. I want to eat better. I want to start working out. And the intentions are there and the intentions are good. But the problem is... The problem is they start slipping back on old habits. And it's not because they're not mentally strong. I mean, these are guys that work every day. They're hardworking guys. They're there for their families. But it's because they start thinking and reverting back to the bullshit stories they tell themselves about who they are. Things like, "Uh, I'll never get in shape. I'll never lose this weight because... My whole family's big, you know, my whole family's my whole family's big and my genetics suck. My genetics won't la- allow me to get in shape. Bullshit. Oh, I can't eat right because I got kids, you know. It's really hard to eat right when you have young kids because they eat junk. And what am I supposed to do? Make make something for myself that's healthy and, and then watch everybody else eat junk? If that's what it takes, yeah, bullshit. Oh, I just don't have time to work out. I don't have the time, you know. Time, my, my schedule's crazy. You know, again, I got kids. You know, I just don't have the time. It's hard to, to dedicate a, a time during the week to work out. Really? Bullshit. I bet you're up to date on the latest Netflix show or the latest show on HBO. All you motherfuckers that watch Game of Thrones. You can't tell me you, you didn't watch Game of Thrones when it was on. You couldn't take an hour out of your Sunday night to hit the gym or work out at home. It's too hard to make time to do bodyweight squats and push-ups in your bedroom. Give me a break. I don't buy it. So here's what I'm trying to get at, guys. These bullshit stories that we tell ourselves, they've been planted in our heads since we were young kids from teachers and parents and superiors and people that were older than us telling us what we could and couldn't do. And somewhere down the, down the line and down the road, we became those things because that's who we told ourselves we were because that's what other people saw in us. Fuck that shit. At some point, you have to stop pointing the finger at that stuff and take responsibility for your own life. You're a full-grown man. We only get results when we own up to our shit and do what we need to do. And that only happens when you kill that old version of yourself, that, 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 that overweight version of yourself, the guy that, that was always told he was lazy, and the guy that was always told that, you know, he would never be in shape, 
by his family or his friends. You got to kill that guy, man. You got to recreate yourself. Be reborn. Make better decisions. You become what you focus on. So if your focus is constantly about how you're fat and how you're out of shape and how you're overweight and how you don't have time and how you can't eat right because you have kids, that's the shit that you're going to get. But if you shift your focus and you start asking yourself, how can I make do with what I have? How can I work out with what I have, with the time frame that I have? How can I eat good? How can I eat well with the time that I have or with the resources that I have? Guys, it's not expensive to eat healthy. I don't care what you say. It's not expensive to eat healthy. That's a bullshit lie and story that you tell yourself so that you don't have to fucking do it. Stop lying to yourself. You're stronger than you think. You have the ability to do whatever you want to do as long as you're willing to put the time and effort in and to stop lying to yourself. You say you want to be healthy for your kids? Show me. You say you want to get in shape? Show me. Start taking steps. Start taking action. If there's anything I could do to help you get there, Shoot me a DM. I'll be more than happy to do my part. But you got to do yours. All right, guys. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Don't be lazy this weekend. Do something tonight. If you're watching this video and you're a guy, get off the fucking couch. Don't watch TV. And do some sort of activity tonight. And then get on the ball for next week. Again, if you need help, reach out. And we'll talk soon.